Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to discuss about how to change the temperature of uh, Gaussian calculation. Suppose you are doing a, um, any calculation in Gaussian and you want to change the temperature, pressure. So what are the keywords and how you have to perform those calculations. So we will start the calculation straight away. So first we will design a molecule, whatever molecule you are interested in. You just assume you are interested in any molecule, the second reason is of it and design it. And then you have to create the input file. Okay. For time being, I have input file I have here. Uh, this is one molecule and I am doing the geometry optimization using MO62x that Minnesota basis functional and this is the basis set I have used triple G double X triple type basis set with diffuse function and polarization function then integral to A equals to super fine that integral I have uh, default it is ultra fine I just made it super fine just for my calculation uh, you can ignore it okay then I am also adding the dispersion correction because for my molecule it is required means for my other calculation it is required so it is not necessary to you uh, to put in this calculation okay you can ignore this to, uh, these two keywords okay so this is to improve your uh, means geometry and this is to improve the again the geometry because uh, it is for weak or, you know dispersing correction for the weak interaction and all so in case there is a weak interaction you have to incorporate this okay in my case i have weak interaction so i have used here then frequency calculation the temperature i have given at uh, 408.15 so whatever temperature value you are giving this is in Kelvin okay suppose you want to uh, by default the calculations will be at room temperature to 98.15 Kelvin and if you want to change the temperature you have to just uh, put temperature keyword here and then put the temperature here okay and suppose you want to uh, change the pressure just put pressure equals to uh, by default it is one atmospheric pressure so it will be 1.0 if you are to change the pressure, just change this to 0.0, 1.5, whatever value you want to, you can change it. Okay. And here also I am giving the solvent. I am using, uh, see, there are various models for solvent. Uh, right now I am using SCRF, IEF, PCM model, and the solvent I am using is DMF, dimethyl pavum. Okay. So, in case you are not interested in the solvent, you can ignore this. Okay, for the temperature, just you have to incorporate this. And if you are, so I will show you. So, if you are putting the temperature, you just put the temperature and whatever the value and the pressure and the value. Okay, so this is the way you can tune the temperature and the pressure uh, in your calculation. And the temperature is going to affect your thermodynamic properties. Uh, geopoint energy is going to be same at all of the uh, level so mainly your enthalpy, entropy, free energies all these things will, will be changing uh, based on the temperature whatever you are using so there are cases when you suppose you, your reaction temperature is uh, 150 degrees celsius, 130 degrees celsius in those cases if you are performing calculation and doing a frequency calculation I always prefer to do at higher like changing the temperature suppose you are also doing uh, calculations at higher pressure or lower pressure you can uh, manually tune by default the temperature is to at room temperature to 98.15 Kelvin and the pressure is one atmospheric pressure that is the default uh, value set in the course in 60 uh, and 50 uh, and 9 also I think. so um, this is the way you can change the pressure and the temperature for this input i have done the calculation if you open this is the file i'm just opening using gauss view and if you open you see this molecule uh, here and right click here go to the resource section and the summary if you see so i have used solvation model okay and 
if you are interested how like uh, there are how many types of solvation model is there and which solvation model is better and how uh, these see for the various cal types of uh, you know uh, calculation uh, there will be various keywords right so i have prepared one uh, booklet you can see also one notes kind of stuff okay if you are interested i will uh, i will put the link of this so i have not only the this notes i have other notes related to the theoretical calculations uh, basically i have four modules of it so i'll put the link of uh, the registration uh, for this notes in the description okay just go and have a look it's very interesting uh, booklet here you will see you know uh, all types of uh, calculations and reasoning and also you know the videos will be also intact with the pdf file and <clears throat> so here suppose you want to uh, do a geometry optimization this will be a basic example what is the basic you know uh, input file for a geometry optimization and you will, there will be a link for a video if you click there it will direct you to the video okay and then these are the key point that we will be considering for this calculation similarly various type of like what is minimum energy zero pi as zero net force stable configuration harmonic variation all these things i have discussed here okay in detail and other than this there are similarly i have three four modules like for pc set correction geometry optimization uh, and theoretical chemist view like in the mathematically how it happens all those things using potential energy surface and all so i have discussed so if you are interested just have a look i am just putting the uh, you know the application link in the description click there and just go through it if you are interested you can just send me an email uh, i will share all these files with you okay and this has so many keywords will be interesting and will be easy for you various types of you know see the key keywords i have discussed here and various type of calculation suppose this is the topic zero point energy so why it is used what are the significance all those things I have discussed here similarly there are so many things in this uh, booklet along with the suppose you are doing a calculations and you are getting errors right so how to rectify those errors all those things I have discussed there okay now come back to our uh, calculation based on the different temperature so here if you see uh, this molecule uh, go to the thermodynamic section here and uh, if you see the temperature here uh, whatever we have given the temperature 408.15 Kelvin so you see the temperature whatever we have provided the temperature is here the pressure by default I already told you it is one atmospheric pressure if you are going to change it you have to change with the keyword pressure equals to whatever pressure value you are putting suppose it is 2.0 just put 2.0 that's all okay so whatever Parameters, if you see here, all those belongs to 408.15 Kelvin. And suppose this is the electronic energy, zero point energy, thermal energy, all those things, all those thermodynamic values are at this temperature. Similarly, you can perform the calculation at uh, other temperature as well. And you can compare what are the thermodynamic parameters which is changing at those temperature. Okay. So this is the way to do, see, I'm just telling you uh, as an example for temperature, there are so many applications of this calculation. Okay? We have to, suppose you are doing a uh, reaction at 150 degrees Celsius and you want to study the you know, thermodynamic properties, you need to perform this kind of calculation. Okay. And if you have any doubt pertaining to this video, please put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.